Welcome to episode 13 of the Raw Apes podcast. We we're just trying to figure out. We always forget what number it is. We have to do a little meeting to figure out if it's, uh, <laughs> if it's number 13 or 14. And we always forget. Today. Well, good news is that now we, we're going to post it up on the links. Uh, we're on like iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, um, SoundCloud, what else? Anchor, a bunch of apps like the Podcaster app. Like there's like f- three or four other apps. So we're three like, or four other ones than yeah the, on app besides the one that you just mentioned. Yeah, so it's like a total <laughs> of like seven. So wow. we're like on seven platforms because I know sometimes you guys obviously you guys probably don't watch the YouTube one because. Once you turn off the the phone, unless you have what YouTube uh, Red, YouTube the yeah whatever, premium, yeah, premium premium YouTube Red, then you could listen to it when it's off. But if it's not, then you guys can't listen to it. So yeah, yeah I never cool. thought about that. Like when you were cutting my hair and you said that um, you were gonna upload to iTunes now or the po- Apple Podcast app. You're like, who um, cares? Why? I just I listen to it when I turn it off. That's yeah, what you but because I pay for YouTube, yeah. you know, so I could uh, lock my phone and I'll still listen. I'll, I'm able to hear the video, but yeah, yeah I forgot that not everyone pays for it. Not yeah, everyone how much is, is it? Rich as fuck like me. I know, bro. <laughs> how much is it? Like ten bucks, I think. Ten bucks. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, everything adds up. YouTube, right? Fucking ESPN Plus is five bucks. UFC Fight Pass, ten bucks. Yeah. Netflix. I don't know Spotify. how much is that. Ten bucks. Oh, I have Spotify. Spotify or Pandora mm-hmm. or Title. I have Title. You have Title? Yeah, that's like the you pay for Title. Well, I got it free, oh, like okay. the three free three months. Oh, okay. But I mean, but what? like, there's no music on there, is it? Yeah, there is for. But like, I feel like it's very well. When I got it, I mean, well, when how I got, long ago did you get it? I think I got it when I when it first came out. Which so was like, how long was, ago? I don't know when it came out. Oh, I like don't know. two years ago, maybe. Oh no, there's or, a lot. There's yeah. even paisa music on there. Oh really? Like corridos. Yeah, I was look, looking at. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna get it for sure now. Yeah, then. there you go. <laughs> so they have a lot now. So I got it for free, like three months free trial. That's why I'm using it. But think about it, everything fucking adds up. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's only five. It's only ten bucks. Yeah, and then you have like five or six of them. It's already like seventy dollars. Yes, sir. So it ends that's up a being a lot. So, a lot so that's why on iTunes. Um, you know, the podcasts are only going to be ten dollars each episode, right? Wait, what? No, I'm just kidding. They're oh, free. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? It's free. <laughs> yeah, they're free. But on on one of them, on if you guys are on Anchor, I think there's gonna we're gonna record a little commercial because they're gonna sponsor that episode. <laughs> oh shit! We're you gonna record the commercial. I, or I'll record it. Yeah, I'll read off the the little script. Oh, they send you a script to read off. Of? Yeah. So, um, um, pick, can you pick the sponsorship? Well, they. Well, I'll just basically say it in the com- when I'm doing the commercial, the little commercial later, because that's where we plug it in and I give the details. No, yeah, but do they pick the sponsorship for you? Yeah. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. To see which one connects with you. Because I, I was gonna say we. If we were, we could do it pick, as well, though. We no, could no, no. But oh, we could pick. Well, yeah, we, not we, on there. Like if pick, we want to um, add our own sponsors, we can add them on there. We should get sponsored. Work our way up uh, to where we get sponsored by Fleshlight. Fleshlight, like yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah, <laughs> well, I don't think he's sponsored by them anymore. But I don't he, know. He was probably. Yeah, get some free merch, you know, free from free. Fleshlight. <laughs> <laughs> I, Ivan was uh, is a big supporter of them. <laughs> Hey, but fuck the you watch them right? Kinda. You're at you're at work. At work yeah. oh, okay, but you watched the last two fights. Yeah, I watched the last two. But fucking Fedor, I had a feeling when it was starting when they were both in the ring. I don't know who who the ref was, you know. But when they were starting, I was like, damn, Fedor's gonna get knocked out. I mean, I just felt it like he's gonna get laid out. First, but, I thought like he's gonna go to like the second round. He's gonna do pretty good. I eventually thought he was gonna he was gonna lose. All right, we mentioned it last week, but I just had a feeling. Oh, it's not gonna be good. He's gonna get laid out. Honestly, I don't know if it was just me, but I felt like he looked nervous. Uh, um, yeah, he was a little timid because, like his other fights, even with um with Frank Mir, he he started off faster than this because this he didn't throw one punch. It was 30, 30 sec, thirty five seconds. He didn't throw one punch. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? And Bader got him with it wasn't like a jab, but it was like kind of like a hook. The same punch he caught King Mo with the exact same punch. Was it the exact? 
Go watch, put King Mo Ryan, Ryan Bader Ryan on Bader. YouTube. The same punch. He like ducks under and throws a lead left hook. And it, it didn't good, even though. seem that hard. The, it didn't. The King Mo, same thing. Didn't seem that hard. But King Mo, he, he rocked him, dropped him, then he ground and pounded on him. Here, this fool was more out. I'm pretty sure it's just all the damage he's taking, you know? Hell yeah. He's... Like if he doesn't retire after this, then I don't know. I just feel bad for him. He's like a BJ Penn, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's going to be, or like a Chuck. Yeah. I mean, at least he still has some fight in him, like, compared to Chuck. But also, but... if he's going to say don't fight these fucking... Dude, Ryan Bader's a top... Yeah. Top 10 guy. Don't fight these he's guys. He's like... I, he's... He, the post-fight interview, Bader was saying that he's in his prime right now, and, like, I believe him, you know? Like... I feel like he is in his prime. Uh, I feel like uh, in the UFC, obviously, there was DC and uh, John Jones. I don't think he'd be able to beat them. But no. at the same time, like he, I think he would be always top be five. in the top five, definitely. Like, yeah. let's see. He can't beat Jones. He can't beat DC. He can't beat Alexander. Rumble's gone, but if he was there, he can't beat Rumble. You don't think he could beat Rumble? Well, remember, he got stopped, like, in a minute. He fought Rumble oh, they before. Fought? Oh, he shit. just... Shot in, <laughs> like he was scared, terrified. Shot for a double, if he stuffed it, and then just ground and pounded him. Stop the fight. He'll probably be like top five. Def- but, top five, yeah. But, but Fedor should not fight. Should not fight top ten guys, basically. Fuck no. If he wants to stay there, wait, fight, who? Fedor. Sh- yeah, he should oh, not. Okay, yeah, Don't no, fight no, top no. ten guys. F- fight just like, um, let's say. You know how Tito's going to most likely fight Chael? You know, they've been talking oh shit. Oh, my God. That's so But dumb. if Tito comes back, Fedor versus Tito. That's a good fight for Fedor, you know? Fuck him up, get paid. Yeah. So you take those type of fights. Because he probably doesn't have shit to do. <laughs> probably. <laughs> right? Not. All he knows is fighting. So let he wants to keep fighting. Let him, let him fight, but don't put him up against these young guys. They're going to fuck him up. Yeah, he's just, just, I mean, throw in the towel or, you know. Yeah. Like Tito, too. I would recommend chill. that, he, that he retires, but, I mean, he's going to do whatever he wants, you know. Uh-huh. I don't I don't know if this was, like, a fake tweet or not, but I saw a tweet that said um, that Chow's son and tweeted out to Ryan Bader saying um, that he should fight him next. And I'm like, no, like, what are you talking Chow about? Chow said that yeah. Bader should fight him? Like like Bader, said, Bader said in a, in a real interview with Helwani, oh, um, Chow's there and someone else about defending the light heavyweight title. Oh, my God. Yeah. Chow oh, the Sonnen? light heavyweight. Yeah, the light heavyweight title. He, he said about Chael Sonnen and someone else. I, I forgot who the other oh, person was. Oh, um, shoot. I'm, I saw it today. I'm forgetting the name. But if he wants to defend it, that, that's basically what well, he said. Wasn't it uh, Ortiz? I think it was Ortiz. Tito Ortiz? To yeah, defend it against Tito? I think so. Oh, man. that's. See, I mean, well, both of them aren't going to do shit to Ryan Bader, to be honest. Nope. What is he going to do? Um... I don't remember, but I know it was Chael. He mentioned Chael. Bellator's champ champ should uh, fight UFC's champ champ. Yeah, that's what he said, right? He wants <laughs> Who said to fight. That? Oh, Bader? Yeah, Bader. Oh, yeah. Like, it'll be good to fight DC. Yeah, but the UFC would never do that. Yeah, they wouldn't. It'll be dope, you know, cross yeah. promotion, but nah, they won't do it. Then DC would be champ 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 champ. Damn, imagine. <laughs> that would be fucking dope. Like, you put your organization titles on the line. I know. He'll have the. Damn, he will have belts in Strike Force, UFC, and oh, Bellator. Oh, shit, yeah. But, but that's never going to happen, yeah, so. Happen. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Damn, that will be dope. But, um, yeah, it was a quick fight. Um, I mean, one-sided, obviously. Fedor didn't do anything. Yeah, he didn't He didn't even throw a punch, so. That, but, that, that kind of sucks, but, I mean, whatever, right? Yeah. But the main, I know not the main, the co-main, co-main event. You saw, you saw all of it. I saw all of it. I was on the, at work on the computer. I, you know, when Pico got knocked out, I fucking. If I wasn't at work, I would have like probably screamed most likely like. Oh, that's what I was. But like I was just, I just like lifted up my hands and like put them in the back of my head, 
And then I was like, oh, shit, like, I'm at work, you know? Like, people were looking at me. I was like, like, they're going to be like, what is this weirdo doing? Like, looking at the screen and, like, putting his hands up. So I put them down. But I was like, God damn it. That shit was like, crazy. Pico, like, I honestly saw that coming. I saw it coming because he was not. I felt was, nervous for him when he rocked, you know, he rocked him, right? Boom. And then he was just, you know, he was just boxing with him, right? And staying in the pocket, right? Just trying to, trying to knock him out. And then when he got the clinch, you know, he threw a knee. And then he's like, he's going to the body in the clinch with, you know, with punches. I'm like, no one really, you know, when you grab someone in the clinch, you don't just punch them to the body, right? Yeah. You throw knees. Or to the face, but. Yeah, and he just stay there. But just, even if it's to the face, that, uh, like, that's, um, it's not smart because you're exposing yourself too to getting punched as yeah, well, it's kinda which like, is what happened. Yeah, like Don Fry and yeah, uh, remember um, the Pride one? Yeah, what's the other guy's name? Uh, the Asian dude? Yeah, the just yeah, put Don Fry like, versus Asian guy. In the clinch, right. like one hand like behind the neck like the neck each time. other. Yeah, and then They're just both like, of them just fighting. Yeah, just, You're just brawling there. Yeah. yeah, you have them hurt, but yeah, when he was doing that, I was like, ooh. Yeah, when and he then, was doing that, I saw it coming. I was like, no, like, get out, like, Stop like clinching like that or like pick get them away. apart. Yeah, like, like style bender, you know, like pick uh -huh. them apart. You have them hurt, just pick your shots. Don't don't be in there. Just basically like a like a Vanderly in the clinch. Yeah, and sure enough, he got caught. And... That shit was crazy. When I saw when I saw him get, I thought he was first rocked, right? But no, oh, like no, he just he started going out. limp. Yeah, and this will landed two more hooks on the way down. <laughs> and once he landed oh. another punch. I, I was fucking scream. Oh, shit. I fucking had to rewind it. Oh, you watched that at home? Yeah. Uh. So I was rewinding it. I was like, I watched it like three times. Back to back <laughs> to back. I saw uh, Joe Rogan's reaction. Oh, you know how they had the fight companion? Yeah. I saw like that everybody's reaction. How Brendan <laughs> fell down. <laughs> Joe stood up. And, yeah. Hey, bro. was all like, oh, shit. I feel like Eddie Bravo was just yeah. chilling, like yeah. he was drinking his wine or whatever he was, like, he was drinking. That's <laughs> fighting. <laughs> no, that was uh, Brian. Oh, He's that's like, fighting. That's fighting. No, that happens in fighting. That happens in fighting or something like that. Damn, but that's why we love MMA because anything could fucking happen. Yep. You can have them hurt. Like in boxing, you you know you don't you're not gonna allow the dirty dirty boxing there. Mm -hmm. You're gonna separate them. Here, anything could fucking happen. That's like, why it's so fun. Like in. Uh, what you just said reminded me of uh, the fight of, uh, was it Czech Congo versus uh, Pat Berry? Yeah. Yeah, where uh, Pat Berry's just like, it looked like Pat Berry was going to win, you know? Cause yeah, he they could have stopped that fight easily. Yeah, but Czech Congo ended up yeah, coming back him. and yeah, catching Berry. He was still out, but yeah, he just ended up catching him and knocked his ass out. Uh, so that was crazy. That sucks for, for Aaron Pico. He's gonna have to, you know, work his way back up. He's what, twenty two years old. Yeah. Now he's four and two. That's kinda like a not not a good record, you know, right? Four and two. That's not a bad record, like considering the fact that he made his debut, like MMA pro MMA yeah. debut in Bellator. Like that's not a bad record. Like even well, if it's not he a was, good record. Uh four and two. It's not a great record, but it's not a bad record either. I don't know. I guess I wouldn't. I wouldn't really be like. <laughs> but he record. said. I mean, he said he's willing to fight people with like similar records to him. You know. But yeah, he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to learn. You know, to just pick his shots. I mean, and he's a very good wrestler, and he doesn't use his wrestling. You rock them, like fuck them up. He's hurt. Take him down and ground and pound them. Finish yeah. him. I mean, his uh, stand up is good, but he just. He got I caught. The offense, the def I mean, the, the defense. Well, you know he trains with Freddie Roach, so, yeah. so his boxing is real good. But in MMA, I mean, in boxing, you're not going to get caught like that, you know? Like mm -hmm. when, when he's sparring in boxing, he's not going to be doing that and people are going to hit him and, and rock him with those mm -hmm. bigger gloves, 16-ounce yeah. gloves. That was a fucking crazy fight. So yeah. the last two fights were crazy. The one before that, did you see the... Right. We, I figured out he's a fucking WWE the, wrestler. He's that's what I heard too. But he's currently a WWE wrestler. No, he stopped. Or he was. He was, and then he stopped oh. his first fight. Okay. So he's had no other. He, like no amateur nothing. 
He just came here. But he, he was a, a he was a, a wrestler right? in college. Okay. So I think he he beat Cain Velasquez in wrestling oh, in college. He did? Yeah. So oh, he's man. a legit wrestler. So at least he has that. He's not like a CM Punk that doesn't have shit. <laughs> you hey, know what CM I mean? CM Punk has that wrestling background, bro. What do you oh, mean? Jiu Jitsu. He's a <laughs> what? Blue belt. Is he? He's a blue belt in Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> oh my god. But this, you know, the guy they gave him, that guy didn't have shit. In, how old was he? Two twenty against two fifty four. Six feet versus six seven. Like six, six feet versus six, six seven. Six wow. seven two fifty four. And mm-hmm. a, and an athlete and a wrestler. You know. So they, they just gave him that fight. He won, he won by fight. arm triangle, right? Yeah. And that's what they do in, in Bellator, or I'm sure even in the UFC now with CM Punk. But, like, it's, it it damages the sport, you know, bringing a guy that's 0-0 and you have him on the main card. Yeah. They should put him on the on prelims. prelims. Yeah. But they Is just want to get ratings. even have prelims? Yeah, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, because yeah, I was watching it on the, the Zone app. Uh-huh. And I started from the beginning. So there was literally, before the main card, there was like six fights. So, so six, six fights, fights on the uh, prelims. On the prelims, yeah, okay. About six or five I saw on the prelims. And what was this? Ricky Bandejas versus... Juan Archuleta. That one was all right. I was like, you you didn't watch that one? I didn't watch that one, no. It was okay. Just it was, bits, but... Yeah, um, it was just an okay fight. Ricky didn't really get nothing off because this kept going for takedowns. Most of the time, Ricky was defending. Half of the time, I would say he was defending takedowns. Who? Uh, Ricky. Okay. Anyway, it was a decent fight. I wasn't too thrilled. And this this one was fucking terrible. Terrible? Was it this one? Oh, no, no. It wasn't this one. It was on the prelims. Uh, this is the the submission. Did you watch this one? Uh, I didn't, but... Did you I kinda see the kept, finish? Kept, was it an armbar? Yeah, first he went for a Kimura. A Kimura, they were fucking scrambling. He ended up flipping. Brandon ended up um, going over his back. You know when they have the Kimura and you go on your back to protect yourself? Uh-huh. He went on his back and they were rolling and this was switched it to an armbar and caught him. Uh, Adele. Yeah. Out to Mimi. Out to Mimi, yeah. He submitted Brandon McMahon. McMahon, Is that McMahon yeah. Yeah, he submitted him. So that was a good fight. But there was one on the prelims. It was terrible. I think I know which one you're talking about. The guy that was just jujitsu? Oh, no. What, wait, was that? Well, I saw one. Two guys. It was boring. Oh, two, two guys, guys, not three? <laughs> <laughs> one guy, two, well, two jujitsu guys. Uh. It seemed like there were two jujitsu guys. Just one of them had better striking than the other. Bro, it was terrible. The guy that, I think it was his, his debut. In, was he like Bellator. showboating or like yeah. he was like taunting them? Yeah, yeah, he was I taunting where, where he put his chin. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. dude, you're even the commenters were like, well, that doesn't do anything. Big uh-huh. John McCarthy. That doesn't score any points. He's just putting his chin out there. I'm like, dude, you're not fucking doing shit. What are you doing? His striking was terrible. Terrible. <laughs> if you like if you if if they would tell me, hey Art. Um, Ivan's just gonna they're gonna have a Muay Thai fight against that guy I'll put my money on you you're, you're gonna <laughs> knock him out <laughs> damn, damn that bad yeah bro damn he so was really suck he was I suck. terrible bro <laughs> terrible but you know he's there because of his good jujitsu. the other guy was defending the takedowns basically this fool couldn't do shit to him but the other fool wasn't really doing much you know kind of like how that guy Michael Jackson when he fought CM Punk Michael Jackson. That's his name. Well, Mike Jackson. His full name is Michael. Oh, okay. It's, it's Mike like, Jackson. What? You know how, <laughs> how when he was fighting CM Punk, he was just like like one or two shots and moving away? You remember that oh, fight? Oh, yeah. CM and Punk? then he got like criticized for not finishing yeah. it or something. Yeah. Like yeah. worse than that. Damn. Worse than that. Like if, if you see Mike Jackson versus CM Punk, you're like, oh, Mike Jackson beat the shit out of him compared to this fight. It was that bad. <laughs> That was just Were people terrible. like booing or something? I was fucking bored of it. <laughs> I couldn't believe I went through the whole shit. At the end, I'm like, why didn't I just skip, skip through it. this? <laughs> because I was watching Cause you uh, the, it, right? the, the Thurman fight on, on it's PBC Boxing on Fox. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what PBC stands for. Boxing Championship. I don't know about P. Professional. Professional prime, Boxing Championship. I think. I think it's Prime. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But I was watching that fight, Thurman versus Josecito Lopez. The zone too, right? No, that one's on Fox, Channel oh. 11. 
So I was watching that one before I watched the Bellator fights. Because uh-huh. I was all like, oh, this is online. I'll just pause it. So I, I watched that, that main fight. It was all right, the boxing one. It was pretty good. What was it? Thurman, he's a champ against Josecito Lopez. Oh, I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I don't even know who they were. I heard of Thurman before. He was out for like two years because of um, depression, I think. Mm-hmm. And, and then like Tyson Fury. They, yeah, and then he he came back and he he won. He got rocked in one of the rounds. He like almost stopped. Then he came back and just won a decision. I don't know how that, I brought that up, but <laughs> but yeah, but Bellator it was all right. The prelims were there was a lot of finishes on the prelims. Besides that one, yeah. Obviously. Besides that one, there was like four finishes on them, pretty quick too, like in the first round. So it was good. The prelims were entertaining. Um, so what's next for Aaron Pico, man? I mean, I don't know who they have on their roster, but... What does he fight at? 145. Ooh. Henry Corrales? Oh, shit. Who, who's at 145? Is it AJ McKee as well? Yeah. Fuck it. Hey, but... Henry versus this was teammate, AJ McKee. That'll be dope. Uh, maybe, maybe if AJ wins, wins his next fight. fight. Who is he fighting? Uh... I have no idea, but he's he has a, he already has it lined up. Yeah, it's oh, okay. like next month, I think. He's he's like the main event, I think. I think, or if not headlining, I think it might be uh, the same card as. Uh, no, he's not headlining because he's not a none of the posters. Check the MVP versus Paul Daly. I think it might be that one. Connecticut. Yeah, maybe. Let me see. We won't talk about these, but. Probably not. Check he's Congo. Not even here. He would be. Rico like Crow Cup versus yeah. what? No, mm. I guess not. I saw. I saw him somewhere. People like on the. On the like poster, main event pro- poster. Nah, I don't see him here. Huh? That's weird. Unless he's on the Rory McDonald fight. I don't think so. That that just got announced today, didn't it? Yeah, or McDonald's like the, versus Fitch. Oh, that's in April. I don't think AJ's going to wait this long. No. No. Oh, who yeah, knows? I saw it somewhere. But Whatever. Damn, bro. But then uh, we got another fight. The, uh, this week. The rematch. Asunsa versus Magic. Magic Man. It's part two. You that's saw the first name? fight? Magic Man? Well, that's his nickname. Well, his nickname, yeah. yeah. No, I Marlon Morales. Him. How, do you Mor- say Morales or Morais? Morais. 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 Is Part he Brazilian? Two. No, yeah. Is he? Yeah, fool, they're both Brazilians. Morais. First fight was all right. You, did you see the first fight? No. It was, it was good. It was Casual. decent. It was a decent fight. So this is a rematch. Marlon's on a, like, on a, f- what? He knocked out his last fight. He, lo- he knocked out Jimmy Rivera with a head kick. That was a long time Like ago. in, yeah. That was in... How long did he knock him out? I would say like 20 to 30 seconds knocked him out. And then he also knocked out um, Alamane Sterling. Yeah. Knocked him out with a... It was a knee. He was going to throw a kick. Before he before he turned it into a kick, he, he ended up hitting him with the knee. Oh, uh, Moraes. Yeah, knocked him out. Oh, okay. Knocked him out. So he's like on a three-fight winning streak, I think, on knockouts. And oh, before that, he lost to to Asanto. Asanto. Yeah. Oh, which was, uh, okay, okay, the first fight. His okay, debut okay. in the UFC. He was like uh, the champ somewhere else. He came over, lost to this dude by decision. I remember I had Asanto to win that fight at place of bet. I remember it was close. I'm like, come on, fucking pull come it on. off. <laughs> pull it off. And yeah, he ended up beating him by a close decision. With, like, takedowns, he ended up winning. Hey, do you think, uh, like, the UFC should have put Aldo as the main event, maybe? Or do you think, like, it was a... Who? Like, Aldo? A good idea. No, no. These guys... Aldo's on his way out, and these are... Marlins, like, the the next guy to probably fight for the title. Mm-hmm. Well, they're they're not going to do it because they're going to give it to Cejudo. Cejudo? Cejudo's going to fight for the title here at 135. TJ's a champ. Oh, they're 135? Yeah, they're 135. I it was 145. No, they're 135. So he knocked out Jimmy Jimmy Rivera. Uh, who else did he beat? Magic Man. 
Let me see. Um, I don't know. I don't know who else he beat. Besides Sterling, he beat. I don't know. He, well, I know he has like three fight, three fight winning streak. And then you got Rafael. I think he's gonna end up beating Rafael. Who you got on that fight? You, you think Moraes is gonna beat Rafael? Yeah. Hmm. Number four ranked Marlin and number three ranked Rafael. I'll get the underdog. You're gonna get the underdog, so a beer now? <laughs> no beer, man. <laughs> I'm done betting beers. I'm two. Um, zero and two on betting beers. Yeah, he is zero and two. Well, who, man, it just oh, World Series of Fighting. That's where he was a champ at. So, uh, John Dotson beat him by decision. Then knocked out Serling. Then knocked out Rivera. And his last loss was to Rafael Asanza. Let's see Asanso's record. Lost to TJ Dillashaw. Remember he was on a he was on a winning streak. He was on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fight winning streak. They gave him TJ Dillashaw. He lost, lost to, by decision. Then he beat Sterling by decision. Beat Marlin by decision, which that was his first fight in the UFC. Matthew Lopez knockout. And then Rob Font decision. So, but he has a bunch of decisions on on his record. Rob Font, that dude sounds familiar. Do you know he beat TJ before? Rob, Rob Font? No, um, Asanto. Oh, he did. Yep, a long time ago in 2013. In the UFC, right? Yeah, long time ago. It's I got I got um, Marlin on this, and you got Asanto, right? A beer. Okay, cool. <laughs> then you got <laughs> Jose Aldo and Renato Moicano. Damn, man. I don't know. Like, I feel like take, if I'm going to bet on the underdog, this is where I'm going to take the underdog on Jose Aldo. Why? Because he only lost to Connor and Max Holloway. Yeah. That's so true. his only losses. Like, yeah. To the, to the best. I feel like didn't. Am I just making shit up, or didn't he get rocked, like by by? Uh, he got rocked, Jeremy Stevens, or no? No, because I know he finished that fight. But... Yeah, I think he got he got hurt a little bit. Yeah, and then he he oh yeah, then he started brawling, and then Jeremy kind of backed up. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not crazy. Yeah, so Josie Aldo. I I mean, if I'm gonna take an underdog, I'll choose Josie Aldo as an underdog. If you guys are gonna are, are gonna bet. Uh, obviously, the safe bet is with Moicano. He kind of reminds me, his striking kind of like Max Holloway. Like not traditional or like no, like like high volume doesn't get tired. You know, that that type of um, of a fighter. He's not gonna get tired. He's gonna just pepper, peppering shots. Peppering? Yeah. What does that mean? Like how Diaz throws punches. How they're like. They're not really that powerful. Oh, They're just okay. annoying. Uh-huh. Just hitting you. Yeah. You're fucking tired and you, you can't get out of the way. Peppery? I've never heard that. No. You listen uh-huh. to Joe Rogan, bro. <laughs> I do. Peppery I've never, shots. I've never heard him say that shit. Yeah. Josie Aldo as an underdog, but I have a feeling Hanato's going to finish him. But I'm going to probably place an underdog bet on Wait, Josie. what? You have a feeling Hanato's going to finish Aldo, but yeah, you're still going to bet on him? On, as an underdog? On yeah. As an underdog, depending on what the odds are, if the odds aren't that good, I'm not. But if he's like, a, let's say, a plus one eighty, yeah, I'm gonna take Jose on that one. You? Not not betting, just straight. <laughs> no beer. <laughs> no beer. No beer. Uh, I'd say maybe Jose, cause I mean, it is true, you know. He's obviously not the same fighter he was before, you know, like the featherweight king, but. His only two losses have been against uh, Holloway. Well, three in Hawaii, total. Yeah, the Hawaiian but like Irish only guy. against yeah, against two people, and those two people have ended up being champs. You know, they yeah. weren't just like the some of the best. It's not, not just like a, it's not just a champ that fucking won, and you know ended up losing his next fight. Yeah, you know, we exactly. know those guys. Uh-huh. Kind of like Eddie Alvarez. Oh, How yeah. Eddie knocked out uh, um, Rafael. Yeah, Dos Santos. Los Angeles. You know, he ended up losing. Yeah. Like, that was crazy. Um, but, yeah, if you're going to do a parlay, 
I'm gonna give you guys fucking betting fucking um, advice you know, <laughs> or what I just would do, start, right? Just start your own segment. I'm not a financial betting advisor. Ad- betting advice uh, with art. Yeah, not a financial advisor, but I'll take Magic Man Henato as a as a parlay, or take Jose Aldo and, and Marlin. Then you got Damian Maya Lehman Good. Fuck, I. He looks different with the beard, but I think we've seen a fight. Lehman Good. I have no idea. You haven't seen a fight? No, I don't think I've so. heard about him multiple times. I'm sure I've seen a fight, but his I don't face looks him. familiar. I th- I don't think he had a beard before. And Damian Maya. Damian Maya is the is the favorite. To be honest, I'm. To me now, Damian Maya because he's not in his prime is like oh, it's kind of boring to me now. Oh, he's just gonna like utilize his jujitsu, you know. And if he doesn't, then he'll but he's not as him. he's not young, so he's not you know doesn't have the same physical attributes as before. So it's kind of like it's gonna be more boring than before. <laughs> he thought before was boring. Like I remember when he fought Chael Sonnen, and he fucking um, he ended up like hip tossing him and then landed on top of him in a fucking triangle. And he uh-huh. ended up submitting Chael Sonnen when he was fighting at 185. Like but back then, he was more exciting with his submissions. Oh, like, okay. I thought you were gonna say that fight was boring. I was like, no, that doesn't sound boring no. at all. That was good, but now it's just like it's fucking boring. Uh-huh. Hopefully, it's good. I'm gonna go for Lehman Good on this one, the underdog. I, I mean, I don't know that guy, him. so I can't choose. You got Char- Charles Oliveira and David Taymor. Is this a? Uh, oh no, I was gonna say Cowboy. No, the the other guy, the other guy's called Cowboy Oliveira, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, Cowboy Oliveira. Yeah. There's Charles Oliveira. You know why I get confused? That other no, the other guy is Alex Cowboy, right, or something? Alex Oliveira. Yeah, yeah, but I get confused with that dude and uh, Yancy Medeiros just because I mean they kind of look alike. Yancy Medeiros is that fucking Max Holloway's training partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, bro, you're crazy. <laughs> they do not look alike. Kinda. Well, like, I don't know, maybe just because they're dark-skinned or something. Damn, that's <laughs> fucked up. No, you watch. I'm going to pull up a picture and I'll watch. <laughs> but Charles Oliveira, this is going to be a good fight. You know what about Charles Oliveira? Sometimes, like, when he gets hurt, he, he, like, gives up. Have you noticed that? I have, yes. Yes, I have. That fool sometimes ends up giving up. I got Charles Oliveira on this one. You? I mean, I'll choose him, but I have no idea who the other dude is. David Taymor. This guy's pulling up uh, a picture of Yancy Medeiros and, and, and Cowboy Oliveira. Come on, bro. Mm-hmm. Okay, David Taymor, he beat Dracar Claus by decision. He beat Lando Venata by decision. Lando's a good striker. He beat Nick Lentz by decision. So he's on a on a what one two three fight winning streak. Look, don't you think they kind of look alike? Uh very little. <laughs> <laughs> he's on a fight five fight winning streak. Who? Um, David Tamor. Tamor. Five. Not, yeah, five. Two wins in twenty sixteen, two wins in twenty seventeen, and one win in twenty eighteen. Damn, he doesn't stay active. Well, that in 2018, active. in 2018 he wasn't. Well, I mean, not 2018. Oh, I'm tripping. Well, two fights per year. On average, a fighter has three fights a year. So a little Damn. bit, a little bit less. That's the average when you think about it. Damn, that's a little bit. Like not when you. But like, they do what? Like um, training camps, like eight weeks, maybe six to eight weeks training camp. Yeah. That's like let's say it's two months training camp and then they get I don't know they take like a, a couple two weeks off maybe between each fight I don't know John, John, little... Johnny Walker remember oh, you yeah remember I Johnny remember Walker. Johnny Walker damn that fool I'm excited to see him fight I don't know who Justin Leddit is but Johnny Walker is like a minus 200 favorite Johnny Walker he made his debut uh... round tree right Oh, That's yeah. That's what he fought, yeah. right? Roundtree. Khalil, Khalil Roundtree. Yeah. yeah. yeah Roundtree is a dangerous guy. Very explosive. A powerful striker. Decent wrestling. Uh, Johnny Walker just, just fucking ran through him. Yeah. 
Was it was it like a an elbow or a knee? Yeah, elbow. Elbow, right? Yep. Fuck in the clinch, right? Yep, in the clinch. Short fucking elbow. Damn. That shit was dope. Kind of, I don't know. He seems like a goofy ass motherfucker. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. Hopefully, hopefully it does good. Uh, yeah, minus two hundred. Then I don't know who these girls are. Livina Souza, Sarah Froda. No picture on her. Uh, let's go to the prelims. Marcus Perez, Anthony Hernandez. I don't know them. Well, this one's gonna be good. Tiago Alves and Max Griffin. Tiago Alves is still fighting. Yeah, Max Griffin. Who he beat? He just he beat someone recently. Oh, uh, he beat um, Mike Perry. He's beating Mike Perry, Max Griffin. For real? Yeah, I'll point at him. Mike Perry. You know Platinum Mike oh, Perry, bro. Oh, yeah, Mike Perry, yeah. Like, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> he ended up, yeah, just out pointing him. I don't know why I was thinking of Matt Brown for some reason. And Tiago Alves has been fighting uh, a long time. So, look, he lost his last fight. He lost to Curtis Millinder. By decision. Who? Um, Thiago? No. Uh, Mike, the other dude. Max Griffin. Then he beat Mike Perry by decision. And then before that, he lost to... Fuck, I don't know this guy's name. Elizu Zaleski Dos Santos. <laughs> well, the last name's easy, but uh, first, it's tough. Then he won by TKO punches. He lost to Kobe. Cummington punches. Kobe's a beast, so... Kobe's a beast. Yeah, so it's like, all right. But, eh, he, he's been doing okay. Kobe's America's champ. Against Thiago Alves. Max Griffin's the underdog. He's probably like a minus 215. I saw the best today. Thiago Alves. Um, I'm going to just end up taking Max Griffin on this one. Me too. I mean, Thiago Alves is way past his prime. Yeah, he's way past his prime. Just likes to fight. And then this is... Oh, is this on? This was brother? Uh, Nurmagomedov? Khabib, maybe. Yeah, well, ju- from, judging from the last name, said, said Nurmagomedov. Yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. And against Ricardo Ramos. And that's basically it. There's On the prelims, I mean, this one fight, Thiago Alves and Max Griffin. I'm going to watch that one. Uh, oh, and this is, by the way, this is on ESPN+. Plus. So that's it costs like five bucks or just sign up for a free trial, right? Yeah. Sign Makes up for a free weird. trial. We, you don't you don't pay for it, just cancel it. I kind of like the app just because they're gonna have good fights, you know. Not yeah, compared a bunch to of like fights. the UFC Fight Pass where yeah, they only pass had a suck. couple. Of, like, Are they gonna cancel you? Who the fuck's gonna keep UFC Fight Pass? Uh, I mean now the only reason they're I mean, adding I see, EBI and all these jujitsu tournaments and some Glory Super fights, right? Yeah, and like or, King, of the, uh, King of the Cage and or other, like all those like the fight library, you know, if you want to yeah. watch old fights, you know. For so that. how much is it? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks, or if you purchase the whole year, like it comes out to eight ninety nine or seven ninety nine a month. Eight bucks. Save two dollars a month. Like, fuck that. But UFC Fight Pass sucks. Yeah, well, it sucks. Like, like you're not gonna wanna. They're gonna lose subscribers for sure because people are gonna. ESPN they're Plus. gonna pay for ESPN Plus instead. Yeah, Half and it's the only price, five bucks. Five yeah. bucks compared to ten, and you see live fights that are the top UFC fighters. Yeah, people are going to cancel fucking UFC Fight Pass. Oh, and then Kane's going to headline the first ESPN card. Yeah, the re- but that's not on ESPN+. Plus. That's no, I know. That's not ESPN. Yeah. But I'm, yeah that's so, true. I want... You know what? They'll probably have maybe like three live UFC events on the UFC Fight Pass, I'm guessing. The, yeah. the ones that are overseas that are mm-hmm. early as fuck in the morning. Yeah. I think er- real early, I don't think they're going to be on ESPN+. Plus. No, maybe I don't know. I doubt. Well, yeah, you're probably right because that's for the most part. That's those were the only cards that they had on UFC Fight Pass, yeah. like the China card or like, I think yeah, they were all China. I think or early like 11 a.m. or 1 p.m. like the Verdum and Volkov fight. That one was like at 1 p.m. or 11 a.m. Okay, here. What? 11 yeah, a.m. here. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, over here. That I mean, fuck. I don't know what they're gonna do. They're gonna lose the shit. Like I canceled my shit. Like, dude, oh, I don't yeah? need it. Yeah. I should, I should fucking cancel Why mine. do you... I canceled the zone. I did too, and I just signed up for one another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. Well, I did, but I signed up through through another one. This one was two months free trial. Two months? Yeah. I got hooked up, bro. How? 
I know the connects. <laughs> You're probably like some promotion or something. Yeah, yeah, it was some promotion through some other app, and they they, oh, they were okay. giving the zone there. That's where I got title from. Three months, because usually title is like one month free. Yeah. But through this special promotion, I got three months free. How'd you get this? Through an app. What's the app? Can't tell you, bro. <laughs> nah, it's Sweatcoin. Sweatcoin is like you have that. Yeah, <laughs> that one. I used to have it. I have but it. But that shit is like, well, it was on my old phone. Yeah. It's whack, but dude, it's good for for shit like that, like the free trials, uh-huh. like three months. Uh huh. Like it just runs in the background, huh? Yeah. Like for those. Oh, but I actually it. shut it off, so it's not collecting because it drains your it's battery. Your battery, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, man, fuck this, because uh-huh. you know like, they give you stupid ass offers sometimes. Yeah. So I was all like, ah, fuck that. Um, and you know how it has like the. Receive a thousand dollars with PayPal for like, I don't know how many steps. Uh huh. Like it, it's like get a thousand dollar, oh cash deposit to your bank account with I don't know how many sweat coins. But I did the math. You know how you could upgrade if you pay like thirty sweat coins a month, you get the best one that you could get up to like thirty sweat coins a day. Yeah. Well, just so you guys know, sweat coins like an app where if you walk, you get these coins that you could exchange for like offers on their app like well, it yeah like or it. like a five dollar gift card to to starbucks etc right yeah it tracks your steps yeah basically. Tra- it basically is tracking you all your surroundings so they know what to advertise to you that's what they're doing think about it. if they know really? where you're walking to they know the business so. that's how they make money you sure that's the way i don't think make- it like i think the advertisements are just like not random but like they're already there. I don't think it's like they're, they're selling your information. You Maybe it's, I mean I wouldn't be surprised. But. It's think about it. It's it's tracking you wherever you go. So maybe you know I'm sure when you sign up, you don't fucking read through the the agreement. You know <laughs> terms and services, whatever that shit is. You don't go through all those pages. Wherever you're going, I'm sure because you sign up with your email, right? Yeah. Through your email, they're selling that information to local businesses, and that's how they make Possibly. their money. That's how all these apps make their money. But anyways, through that app, that's how I got, like, title for three months. Sweatcoin. I need to get it back. So for that, I got it. But, dude, you could fucking just make, for, like, the zone, you just need a new email. Mm-hmm. Also, they had the zone there, too. Yeah, that's oh, why I got it for cool. three months. That's cool. But, you know, I'm not doing this, but the zone, you, you know you could just make a new email all the time and get 30 days free all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Same with title. Yeah. Well, I'm the one who told you about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this food told me, but I didn't do that, you know, because I pay. <laughs> um, but, that, yeah, that's it for the for the fights. Uh, prelims, main card. Um, are we missing any boxing fights? Last time we forgot about the Pacquiao and... Well, nah, I saw we didn't the, forget, bro. Well, I saw the, the highlights, <laughs> the, the Pac-Man and Broner. Did you see him? Uh, I didn't see them, but, like, obviously, like, I heard that... Basically, Broner this guy didn't do lost. shit. He didn't do nothing. Uh-huh. He obviously he just got lost, beat up. And then he was talking shit after the fight. Yeah, know? after he's all like, man, I fucking won that fight. Oh, everybody here knows. I did it for the hood. <laughs> I did it for the hood. And, then, you like, know, they did like a meme. And someone's like looking at him like, he did it for the hood. Like, don't do shit. Oh, it was some guy who's all like, if that's for the hood, don't do shit for the hood anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right? The guy Something interviewing him, like some that. old white man, right? The fucking one of the interview guys. He's all like, so you're three, what did he say? Like three, three, and one in your last seven fights. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, where do you go from here? He's all like, yeah, I'm three, three, and one. But if I was fighting you all those times, I'll be seven and oh. Like, what? The guy's all like, well, that wouldn't be much of a accomplishment. This interview's <laughs> over. Oh, he said that? Yeah. Like, what? What are you doing? I mean, he's not wrong. Cutting out the fucking <laughs> interview sixty something year old man. Like Damn. Yeah. yeah, he's he's weird. There's yeah. something wrong with they, him. They're saying like some people say he's not all there, like he has I, like mental issues. I mean I wouldn't be surprised. Probably he probably does. Or he's just a fucking idiot. Hope well, I'm like fuck, hopefully his mental health, but that's kinda of fucked up. But damn, imagine you're that stupid. Fuck. He could yeah, be that can, stupid or just can. have mental issues. It's one of them, so none of them are good. Mental health issues or you're a fucking idiot. And he just got, like, at work. Uh, all the highlights, I didn't see him do anything. I feel like, damn, that's crazy. I don't know if he's just gotten hit in the head too many times, but... 
I think that he made like it. like three million bucks that fight. Three, three million, million bucks? bucks? Yeah, three million. Damn, just to get fucked up. And yeah, I mean he got rocked he like won. he just got outclassed. But I saw like two parts where he actually got rocked. Other than that, he was just like he didn't really. At the end, I heard that he didn't really want to fight. He was just moving and you know just letting trying to get out of there. Uh, but Pacquiao, they're talking about Pac Man. Freddie Roach wants him to fight uh, Mayweather again, which I get it. Fucking money fight, and they're both old. That's the guy you want to fight. He's not going to hurt you. Manny Pacquiao's not going to get hurt by Mayweather. Who won the first fight? Oh, well, obviously Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah. Yeah. Mayweather. It, was, it wasn't It was good because um, Pacquiao hurt his shoulder. Supposedly, his shoulder was already hurt before that. And then, you know, when they're fighting, then it got more fucked up. Uh-huh. And he basically was only fighting like with one good hand. So they're talking about doing a doing a rematch, or he's trying to fight like like um, other top fighters. I'm like, it's not a good idea, but he's a fighter. So How old is he? Forty. <laughs> he just yeah, turned forty. He probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, he just turned forty. But I mean, he looks you know for forty, he looks real good. But yeah, he should fight Mayweather. They're gonna angle for that fight, and I think Mayweather's gonna take that fight. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Mayweather. Think about it. Prime and, and that's the money. Um, the money fight in boxing that he could take. He's at, who else is he gonna fight that's gonna make him a lot of money? I mean, he's not gonna fight dangerous boxing. boxers. He's not gonna fight young guys. He has. He's gonna fight Manny Pacquiao. And they're gonna make. I don't know how much did he make in their first fight. I think he made like half a billion dollars. No way. I'm gonna look it up. Half a billion. Half a, so five hundred million. No way. That's what I'm predicting. That's way too much. You don't think he did? No, that's way too much. Because well, think about it. Million. All right, look it up. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> How much? May, Connor made a hundred million for the Mayweather fight. A hundred million. Connor McGregor. So Mayweather made I think like at least he probably made half a half a billion on that one. Mayweather, watch. Mayweather uh, purse for Pacquiao fight for Pacquiao. Let's see. I'm saying w- w- after everything, uh huh. He made half a billion. Let me see. Post it. So his guaranteed purse was a hundred million. Oh, that's it. Oh no, wait. The fight fell just short of the. Six hundred million haul for the twenty five team Pacquiao fight, but maybe this paycheck was ten percent bigger thanks for a greater total revenue. Mm. Oh, I think it was two hundred seventy five million. <laughs> yeah, half a billion is way too much for a boxing fight. Oh no, that was for fucking the Mayweather, uh, the, the McGregor, McGregor fight. Two hundred seventy five million when he fought McGregor. That seems like a little bit, honestly. Well, like, fuck! I'm trying to see how much he for that for fight the for the McGregor fight. fight. That seems like a little bit. I would assume that he made more from the McGregor fight than the Pacquiao fight. Well, the Pacquiao fight made a uh, more more pay per view. It was the biggest uh, pay per view fight. Which one, the Pacquiao? Yeah. Oh, really? Look. Fuck. Well, he was guaranteed. All right. Um, uh, t- t- total purse three hundred million. Mayweather, st- Mayweather earned a hundred and eighty million. But what about it with the pay per views and everything? And who earned more? Obviously Mayweather. Yeah, right? obviously Mayweather, because he's his own promoter. I don't know, but he made a shitload of money on that. <laughs> How do we even get into this? Oh, because uh, Pacquiao won, and who who he's gonna fight next? Uh. Uh, what else were you talking about? Or what else? Oh, you're gonna go to the to the Thai fights, Muay Thai fights, kickboxing well, fights this Saturday. It. Well, yeah, I interviewed uh, one of the fighters fighting on the card this Saturday. Uh, they're fighting in Seal Beach at the AIM. Uh, I'm forgetting. I think it's called the AIM AIM Sportsplex or something like that. Let me look it up. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, it's in Seal Beach. Uh, yeah, AIM Sportsplex. Uh, in Seal Beach. Yeah, I interviewed some dude today uh, at the gym he trains at, and it was like downtown LA. 
it was crazy because you know like there's just a bunch of people walking there's like no parking like i just i couldn't find the gym because it's like uh it's a big gym but it's like you got to go downstairs for it and it's just like there's a bunch of shops like in between it so um well it's yeah it's in between a bunch of shops so it's kind of hidden um so i couldn't find it but whatever i interviewed that guy and um yeah fights are this saturday i'm pretty excited i'm gonna be uh just recording uh not a ring boy yeah I'm a, uh, not yet man not yet not i'm yet, working i'm ready. working my way towards that you know now i'm gonna just be recording the fights just snippets of the fights not with like professional equipment or anything just like posting on their social media accounts which is a fighter's rep um on instagram yeah just posting pictures um uh, posting videos just walking around you know meeting fighters um they've had like um who do who do they have like they had sam smiling sam alvey at one of their shows last okay. at their show last time and uh they have uh for the commentators, uh, I think the last show they had um, Chris Lieben. They had Chris Lieben. He was a commentator. Yeah, he was a commentator. Uh, I'm forgetting who else along with Chris Lieben, but like it's a pretty cool promotion, you know, like just to get those guys there, you know, like it spreads the word. Well, yeah, I'm excited for that this Saturday. Um, That's cool. I know you won't be there because because no, the Aldo, the UFC yeah, the UFC yeah. fight. But, I'm gonna be watching um, that one. Um, and then after, is that dude going to have you like interview fighters or not? Uh, he said I could do whatever I want. So basically I could just like, yeah, but I mean, you can't just fucking pull up to a fighter. Hey bro, like I'm going to interview you. Well, mm, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. That, like the media scrum they have in the UFC, like you're not going to be there. Oh no, they're not going to have that. Yeah. No. So you well, have to it's still amateur. Asking. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look interview any good you know you see guys that look good you know ask yeah. them like hey you got you know five minutes mm -hmm. five ten minutes for interview try to go for five minutes or whatever whatever they, yeah, they give true. you five to ten minutes will be cool or i'm gonna try to get the guys that lost or that just got knocked out nah, bro. <laughs> like joe <laughs> interviewed uh dc when he got knocked out by jones but he doesn't do that no more i, right? I know i know yeah, yeah. He doesn't do i that. think after that fight right he just stopped after the Overeem fight. After, after the over, oh, that's when true. When he got knocked out by Stipe, and after he thought that, he, he tapped. Yeah, after that he Stipe said, that's tapped. It, "I'm done." Yeah. So they don't do that no more. Um, I think yeah. in Bellator they still do, huh? They don't go fucking Bellator. No, well they didn't do it with Pico, I think. No, because Pico just went out of the cage. He left. Well, probably that's why, because yeah. they told him they weren't gonna interview him. But whatever, yeah, but I'll I be do doing that. that. I'll be doing that, interviewing the the guys that got knocked out. <laughs> And um, I think that's it. Anything else you got to talk about? Any any other fights? Boxing? Boxing, fool. You know I don't watch boxing. I'm going to just check it out real quick. Hey, you know what? Uh, now that you asked, uh, I was watching some, some something last night of uh, 1FC. They they had like a, it was a ring, like a boxing ring, but it was MMA, you know, like Pride, mm -hmm. um, how they would fight in a boxing ring. But it was MMA. Um, they were. Uh, it was MMA fights, but there was like no crowd. It was like silent. It was like in China, and it kind of like I think it was like the Ultimate Fighter. Like whoever wins, they'll get into one FC. Well, not like the Ultimate Fighter, like the Contender Series. I mean, okay. You know how like you get a fight, you win, and then like if your if your win was impressive, then the Dana White will like offer you a contract. You know, mm -hmm. I think it was kind of like that. But it was oh, weird because okay. it's like MMA in a boxing ring, and then like there's like no crowd, and uh, like I was watching it live, like at one in the morning, or like twelve thirty in the morning. But yeah, that was kind of weird. I thought it was gonna be like a a fight card, you know? Yeah. But it was but just like it was no just, one was there. Yeah, no one was there. Oh. It's just a red yeah, two probably, guys, and then yeah, probably just the promoters or the scouts. Yeah. Um, for boxing, I mean, I have no idea who these guys are. Sergio Garcia, Ted Cheeseman. That's his name. Cheeseman? Cheeseman. Cheeseman? Che literally, spell out Cheeseman. For a super welterweight title, European, though. 
<laughs> no one cares about this thing about it. <laughs> no one cares about those. They just care about like the you know, WBC, WBO, whatever. Then they got Jake Ball versus Craig Richards, light heavyweight. <laughs> Why are you even reading these names? Yeah, you don't, I don't even, even fucking know, know them. <laughs> maybe some of these guys listening know about know, it. Maybe. There you go. W February second as well. Alvarez versus Ser Sergey Kovalev too. Oh, I know who Sergey is. WBO light heavyweight title. Where's this gonna be at the Bob Arum's top rank? I'm gonna check what if it's gonna be on ESPN or where. Pretty sure they're not gonna charge for it. W. Then they got another one. Valdez versus Tomason WBO featherweight title. Then you said that fast. And then IBF lightweight title. Um, Chania versus Komei. So three title fights. Fuck it. I'm gonna watch them if they're free, or like on ESPN or something. Uh, yeah, that's it, bro. Uh, anything else? That's it. Uh, uh, subscribe to us on Apple. Oh yeah. On, so on pod, on so Apple well, we're gonna post it all up. So um, yeah. So we're gonna have um, you know on iTunes and everywhere else. We'll, we'll post the link up. Um, so yeah so like and subscribe i don't know if you sub you subscribe to like itunes apple podcast I have, I have no idea well if there is an option there like it make sure you like it subscribe to it and then let everyone else know who's you know into mma or whatever um or dumb you know, shit yeah <laughs> no we're, we're probably gonna start doing like a little segment on on, on dumb shit yeah and then um <laughs> or no what what i want to do is and from you know I don't know. We'll think of something, and then we could probably later, like, um, we could have like, um, like the, um, you know, the the people who listen to the podcast, if they have like a, like a question to ask, we'll have like one one person ask us a question about about the fights or something. Okay, or we'll a do, random we'll, question. We'll do like a segment like that. Yeah, we'll or think a, about or it. Or a truth or dare. A truth or dare. <laughs> yeah, something like Spin that. The we'll, bottle. Do, we'll do something stupid like that, <laughs> just to make it more more interesting. Uh, that's it. Anything or else? maybe we'll play some Monopoly, some Scrabble, you know, and like record ourselves. Nah, just that's like, kind of no. Nah? Uh, yeah, I should I, probably I, I edit just that kidding, side bro. out. Fucking not even has to kill the end of the podcast. <laughs> God damn it! All right, guys, that, that's it, right? That's Anything it. Else? Nah. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next week. Peace, Peace out.